and I am back with you with another get ready with me. I mean, that's just going to be a weekly thing. I think on Mondays is my get ready with me. Um, Monday is my only day off so far. My schedule will be changing a little bit, but um, for right now, as of this week, it's my only day so off. Anyway, I let's get started. You know these take me a while. Um, I've already washed and moisturized my face. Let's see, primer, primer, what did I was going to use? This is the Hangover Replenishment Face Pi Primer from Too Faced. I have not used this before, so I shouldn't even be using it now. I should be using the stuff that I have. There isn't much in there. I uh, got home from work yesterday, and Sundays are always a big day for me because we have um, Dart League on Mondays, or Sundays, and they have you running around like a chicken with your head off, and they are notoriously the worst tippers there ever were. I mean, none of them give you nothing. It's kind of... <laughs> you know, you run your butt off for them and they don't appreciate it whatsoever. Anyway, I mean, there's always going to be people like that. But I did pretty darn well on tips yesterday. I, I made like $30, which to me is pretty darn good. You know, that helps me a lot. All right, so for, let's see, for foundation today i'm going to use a bb cream uh the rimmel matte nine in one skin perfecting super makeup this is a uh, spf 15 and it is in the color light just going to shake that up a little bit kind of squish it around a little going to use my brush again my favorite brush put the cap on this thing before it decides to go all over the place. I'm going to do a few videos today. You know, Mondays are just the only day that I'm able to do videos. I mean, I probably could do them, you know, a couple other days of the week, but you know, after I get off work, I'm about dead tired. I am not used to this working, um, you know, on my feet for so much, you know. Um, and it's just going to take me a while to get used to things, I think. I see a hair. I see a lot of hair. I've got a lot of peach fuzz. Drives me nuts. I'll put another drop here. So anyway, I got home, I got off work at 6, and sat around for a while, and I really don't know what time it was. I'm thinking probably around 8 o'clock, I fell asleep in my chair. I wake up, it's quarter after 12. <laughs> so I was awake until probably about, oh, 05 or so this morning. <clears throat> 
and uh, come on here. Okay, and went to sleep and woke up about eight thirty. So I slept for you know decent. I'm gonna wear my or I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do my brows first. Let's see. Let's use the I just grabbed one out of my drawer. The um, no glasses on. It's hard. Marinesse. This one here. This is the one that I really liked a lot. I just grabbed one out of my drawer. Um, the one I used last week, the uh, Kardashian. You know, I think I could probably work with it, but it is just, it's really dark to begin with, which, you know, is fine. But, um, what did I do with my brush? But it, the problem with it is, is it's so wet. Come on now. This one's kind of dark too, but, um, I really don't mind this one near as much. Maybe because it's so much easier to work with. See how easy that went on? And the Kardashian Beauty, you know, it, it goes on okay. Except for, like I said, it's so wet. When I do this, it pulls it way down. And it just looks terrible. There, that'll do. See, that didn't take me long at all. That's why I like this stuff. I would buy that if I had the money. <laughs> this is the Ulta Eye Primer, which you guys all know that I am using up until it's gone. And what I do is I put some on my... Whoops. Uh-oh. Had a bubble, so we're getting there. That might even be a little bit too much. And I rub it together on my fingers. Yep, that was too much. Ooh. And you kind of have to hurry and put it on with this finger then. I can't do both at the same time. I'm not coordinated enough. Um, because it dries really fast. Okay, that's good enough. For my eyeshadow this week, I'm using my Tartlet Tease, my new one that I won in the giveaway. And I'll just turn that a little bit. That's what it looks like. See, something like this I can't really use for a whole week because I, I wouldn't have any different looks to show you guys at all. I could use it for three days and then use something else for three days which I think I'm going to do with my smaller palettes. Once I'm done with my big palettes, I'm going through them first. Um, once I'm done with those, then I will use two palettes a week. One for three days, one for three days. So I am going to use Whisper, which is this top color here for all over my lid. I think I have this mirror situated and and you guys close enough up now where I can where you can see me put my makeup on. <laughs> Wipe my brushes off in between each one. Okay, then I'm going to go in with let's see here, what do I want to use for my transition? Um I think I'll go in with First Kiss, which is this bottom middle one. 
They really don't have a color that I truly love for my transition. I don't know yet. I haven't got it on yet. This is the first time I'm using this palette. Go over that twice. This one here is a little tougher for me to do. I don't know why. because it's harder to reach across my big old huge boob. <laughs> well, I was going to go in with that gold, and I still might a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in with this dark purple and do a little bit of my lead here. Put that down. There's no going in too light with this stuff, I'll tell ya. Ooh, that's pretty though. transition shade clear over here. I'm going to go in with that um, crush. That dark purple shade, by the way, was BFF. And the, the gold is crush. And I'm just going to go in a little bit over the top of this and just sprinkle a little bit of that gold around. I don't know if it's doing any good, but A little bit of that sparkle in there. So anyway, I use this for all over my eye. This for my wait. This for my transition. This one for my eyelid, and then I used this one just a, a little bit of a topper over my eyelid. Okay. brush away. I'm going to just kind of go in and make sure that these are blended well enough. There's no harsh lines here. Okay, so let's do, I think, I thought I was going to Go in with this um, e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick. And this is the eyeliner, the little shorter one. I thought I would go in with that. It's kind of a purpley color where it's not going to be just quite as... Got a little bit of shadow on my cheek there. Yeah, this doesn't work very well. Only kind of have, as you can see, you kind of have to work at it to get it to even show up. Okay, then I'm going to go in with that shadow, the other end, which is the shat. Whoops the hell which is the shadow part and I'm going to go in a little bit on underneath here
I don't know what that did. Didn't do much, I don't think, that I can see anyway. Put a little bit of purple underneath my deal there. No, okay, for mascara, what that was I going to use? I have things just strewn from one end to the other here. Put some of the stuff that I've already used over here out of my way. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lash Domination. By Bare Minerals, which looks like that. This one here is a little bit hard, so if you go in a little bit too hard, it hurts. The mascara that I used last week, which is the Perversion by Urban Decay, is my all-time ever favorite mascara. And I just, I won um, from Twin Styles, Sarah and, and Jess. Uh, I won a full size. So I'm trying to use up my, my um, little one. that I got with a palette that I bought last summer. I haven't used it enough because I kept it in the palette and then I'd forget about it. So now it's in my rotation, so. Okay, there's my eyes. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Techno Technologic Opti Blur. And this is in the color Fair. I'm getting mascara all over. God dang it. Where is my... I didn't remember that mascara doing that. Being so wet like that. Okay, anyway, I'm going to use this brush for that. I should have squeezed this around a little bit. Okay. I don't have a lot left in there. Just, oop, just about out of this stuff.
my concealer. Nothing's ever going to conceal these. <laughs> okay, blush. I am going to use my uh, Milani Bake Blush in Fantastico Mauve, which is this color, which is pretty dark. So I think I'm going to have to be kind of careful with this. Oh, yeah. Shit. First of all, I didn't mean to use it with that brush. It's my highlighter brush. That cleaned off of there. Sorry, language. Pretty dark, huh? Okay. Highlight. I'll just use my Real Techniques foundation, concealer, whatever it is, brush with my ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek and Stole the Show. That's what that looks like. Not a good brush to use with this. Not a good brush to use with this stuff. God damn it. I gotta find my stipple brush. I can't figure out where it's at. All right, for lipstick, I am gonna use my ColourPop in LBB Matte, which looks like that. That's good enough. <laughs> it's not perfect. Anybody that knows me knows I am far from perfect. So anyway, that is my face for the day. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will be back with you with a few other videos for the week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.